Hi, Michelle, you're joined with two accounts, right? Great. Is anybody else also joining in? Uh, our side only two of us. I'm sorry? Two of us will be joining from our side. Okay, great. Let's start. Itna safar कुछ होने में और बहुत कुछ होने में इतना सा फर्क है एक बार सोच के छोड़ देने में और लग के कर दिखाने में मान लेने में कि जिंदगी ऐसे ही कटेगी और सुबह चार बजे उठ के सोचने में ये अभी तो बस शुरुआत है किसी मैगजीन को हाथ में लेने में और उसी मैगजीन के कवर पेज पे होने में इतना सा ही तो फर्क है वीआईपी सीट में और उसकी पिछली सीट में इतना सा ही तो फर्क है वो जिसका मैदान ही खुला आसमान है वही कल जमीन पर तो था पूछोगे तो बताएगा वो पंछी एक दायरे में सिमटने में और पूरी दुनिया को दायरा बनाने में बस इतना सा फर्क है इतना कितना है इतना है या इतना है जो नापेगा वो जाने कि जहां धरती और आसमान मिलते नानकुर से दूर अगर मगर शायद से दूर वहां भी दोनों में फर्क बस इतना सा है धरती और सातवें आसमान में फर्क बस इतना सा है ये एक अंतर प्रेरणा ये हमारी आपकी हम सब की अंतर प्रेरणा एक कदम एक छलांग एक बाजी एक गहरी सांस और एक ललकार खुली हवाओं में कि हां मैं बना हूं उन फिजाओं के लिए कि हां मैं बना हूं उन ऊंचाइयों के लिए जो ऊंची तो बहुत है पर नामुमकिन ही नहीं क्योंकि मुमकिन और नामुमकिन में बस इतना सा फर्क धूप छाओं में फर्क बस इतना सा फर्क तो बस चलिए फ्रेंचाइज इंडिया के साथ ये फर्क मिटा देते हैं Franchise India. Sanjeev, you can just um, stop your screen share, please. we are waiting for you to stop your screen share hi mohit is it we can already start our our sharing hi marcus very good evening thanks for joining us hi. at late hour really glad to see you in such a fresh mood uh -huh. How are you? Nice to see you as well. <laughs> Likewise. Yes. Uh, so uh, in the meantime, you know, Sanjeev, our, our marketing person, he'll just uh, stop his screen share and uh, we'll just uh, do a quick introduction of uh, why we are here today, uh, why we have all of yours. Uh, firstly, thanks everybody. Thank you for joining us. Uh, today we are actually presenting uh, a branch from a, from a global uh, diaspora uh, with whom we are working to help them grow and enter a market like India and Middle East as well. That's why all of us are connected. Today we have a very exciting brand, relatively young brand, still um, uh, a brand that comes with its own vibe, with its own persona. That's something which has attracted us towards them as well. And that's why we are present them. The brand is called Daily Coffee and we have uh, their founding members. Uh, Marcus is here, he's the founder and we have Michelle as well from their marketing team. First of all, very good evening to you guys. Thanks for joining me. And I think, um, uh, Marcus, without any further delay, I'll pass on the platform to you. Do us a quick introduction into the brand, and then we would love to uh, see a presentation uh, which you would like to you know, share with us and show to our audience, right? Over to you, Marcus. Sorry? Please, please take the platform. Uh, give us a quick uh, introduction into the brand. Okay, uh, Ken. 
Uh, hi, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm Marcus here. So it's uh, very thank you. So uh, Mohit invite us to join this uh, webinar today. So uh, actually, uh, my brand is uh, Daily Coffee here. So we are doing not only coffee, we are more than coffee. So we are we having a hot food, pastry and a lot, quite a lot of things. So I wish later I can share my uh, proposal here. So to let everyone have a look on that. So thank you from my side. Skill thank you query. Uh, yes, we are working on changing our screen. Marcus, just give us a second. I think Sanjeev is working on that. Sure, it's okay. Now, might take your time. Yes, and he was just trying from his end. I think he's just facing some technical glitch. Thank you, Sajeev. Marcus, can you try to share your screen now? Okay, sure. Uh, Michelle will share the screen and uh, we'll see. Okay. Okay, can I start now? Hey. Yes, please. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, I think a bit technical issue on the slide. Uh, okay. You can see it now. Okay, sure. So, uh, okay, uh, one more time. Good evening to everyone. This is my, welcome to my presentation. So, first of all, thank you for Mohit as well and all the Flangover team to invite us here to share about our, our daily coffee. So actually myself, I have uh, experience in f and for more than six years actually. So on our f and side, we have a brand is called Daily Coffee. So actually we are not only coffee, we are more than that. So we have a hot cooking food and we have a pastry, we have cakes and we have selling merchandise and retail coffee item as well. So. Okay, uh, let's start. So this is today is our licensing program for daily coffee. So let's proceed to the next slide, Michelle. Okay, so about us, we are founded in early of 2021. So when we start uh, daily coffee is a very quite very hard time because on that time is a pandemic time. So after we start everything, so we getting better and better after we pass through all those pandemic days. And actually we are a local brand from Penang, Malaysia, Penang, Malaysia. So currently we have seven outlets already. So on end of 2022, we have five outlets. Currently we have seven outlets already. And we have a center kitchen can cater uh, more than 50 outlets. So actually it's a, uh, it's a very good time to do expanding now. So 
Michelle, you can go to the next slide. Okay, actually, our vision is to uh, build Daily Coffee, become a Malaysian homegrown brand and an international coffee brand. Okay, so we try to provide Malaysian, French inspired coffee experience and to local and to international consumer as well. Uh, Michelle, can you share to the next one? Uh, next slide. Okay, as I mentioned just now, actually we are more than coffee. We are not just only coffee. We have a French inspired coffee, hot cooking food and a French dessert. So actually we have a, quite a lot of uh, hot cooking. So we cater from Western until Asian. So our menu got covered from Western to Asian and our dessert and our cakes are from basically as French inspired. So actually it's a quite interesting things on from our dessert side. Okay. So on the market segmentation on Malaysia, so we are providing a very uh, sociable as, uh, environment and affordable pricing to attract most of the customer in Malaysia. So actually our, this is the statistic from our daily coffee outlet now. So about 73% is come from dine-in and 27% is come from takeaway. Okay, because due to uh, after the pandemic, everyone is coming out for dinners and coming out for lunch. So I hope that the dine-in the dine-in uh, percentage will be increased again. Okay, so on our market segmentation, most of the our customers are come from student and white working adults. So family are more as well because we got stand until 20% of the family crops, but most of them are working because of coffee and student, college student, or because of coffee as well. Because actually working adults or students, we need coffee every day. So actually it's a quite a very good chance for us to come to daily coffee because daily coffee have more than coffee, they come for coffee and they can enjoy our breakfast and enjoy food as well. Okay. Uh, here I'll pass it to Michelle. Michelle will share it to all of you. So uh... Michelle, are you there? Michelle, we can't hear you. Uh, it's okay, uh, Michelle, if you, your mic is a bit... We can hear, we cannot hear you. You can speak a bit. Okay. Uh, sorry about that. Okay. So in our target market in India, our main focus is in the uh, metro city and the small town in north, west, south, east India. Okay. And then we target our daily coffee, same as high quality with coffee bean and Starbucks but much more lower price than them. <clears throat> okay. So this is our seasonal menu in our outlet. So whenever there's a festival coming, we will prepare our Chinese New Year menu, like Halloween menu or Christmas menu. So you can see in the picture. Okay, so actually daily coffee is a halal food. We don't serve pork or an alcohol. And then this is our food. We will serve the hot cooking food like Western food, burger, or also the Asian cuisine like fried rice with fillet fish.
So we not only serve the coffee, but we also serve the sparkling water with the grape soda, mango soda, and our signature drinks, matcha, white chocolate, or Belgian chocolate. And we also serve the cold brew coffee as well. Okay, so we are not only serve the hot cooking food and coffee, but we also serve the pastry and cake. Also got waffle, different types of cake, and then the pastry in our outlet. Okay, so we are not only, our, our marketing strategy, we are not only focused in online, but at the same time, we will focus in the offline marketing as well. So besides, we will, whenever there's a promotion, we will be do the posting in social media. And then we also will be running a loyalty program for our membership. Or whenever there's an event, we will organize an event for promotion. And also, there's a, our mobile ads will be coming in this summer. And the pre-marketing campaign for our marketing strategy. So this is the sample of uh, our marketing strategy. As you can see, there's a Christmas Eve event. And then there's a loyalty membership card day. And then there's a benefit for joining our membership. Okay, so this is our total five outlet in Malaysia. We have Daily Coffee in Central Jaya, Raja Uda, Alma, Signature, and Aeroport. These all five outlets is in Malaysia, Penang, and Sabah. So this is one of our first outlet in Penang, which is Daily Coffee Central Jaya. So we got the outdoor dining area, indoor dining area, and then the second floor also. So this is our second outlet. So the outlet is more on the same, which is there's a outdoor dining area, indoor, and the second floor. This is our third outlet, Daily Coffee at Alma. And then this is our uh, daily coffee in our Penang town area. So this outlet is one of the biggest cafe in Penang. And at the same time, we will serve the kiosk coffee, the omakase, the teammate, the bingsu as well, like different with other outlet. Okay, I'll share a bit. I'll share a bit on our signature outlet because actually our signature outlet is a bit special. So because we built up with five different kiosks, we have a daily coffee, normal daily coffee, and we have a ping su, and we have a uh tea made, which is we sell tea and dim sum Chinese basically. Okay, and we have a coffee omakase, which is what we do is we serve what customer requests for which is what taste that customer like for the coffee. So we have a, we have a spe special coffee bar for them to build their specialties coffee for them. What we can say is like that. And at last, we have our Sisha launch. That one is at night, we have a crowd for coming here for enjoy and chit chat. So they will come for the kiosk. Okay, and we proceed to another one, uh, Michelle. Okay, this one, which is in our Sabah outlet, which is just open late. 2022. So on this outlet, we have uh, it's a normal outlet as the same as the same uh first outlet, Central Jaya and Aroma as well. But this outlet is located at Sabah, so which is a uh, different places lah. Okay, so Michelle, can you proceed to another one? Okay, this is uh our outlet customer lah, which can uh, you can see on the pictures. Okay, and this is the kiosk type. Basically, uh, the kiosk type uh, are looking like this. Lah. Okay, this is the average sales on 2022. So basically, our outlet, outlet average Lee, we sell 200 cups of coffee per day and 150 meal. Because actually, our meal are stand almost 50% on in our coffee shop. And we have a 1,000... Uh, 100 piece of cakes and pastry selling per day. And averagely, we have a uh, 
hundred case of sales on last early on 2022 on every outlet. Okay, so on the Q2 we increase the, uh, because because of we are having a delivery joining like a in Malaysia we call it food panda we call Grab we have a delivery service on that. Okay, and Q3 and Q4 we're launching on our loyalty programs and our most of the seasonal menus we are launching on the Q3 and Q4. So the sales uh, increase again on that. Okay, so now normally our net profit for all our shop is between 22 to 28% on our all our shop. Lah. This is, we get the statistics from our own shop. Okay, so Michelle can... That's very impressive, proceed. Marcus. Very impressive. Hmm. Michelle, you can continue with your slide. Okay. So why we choose India to expand our franchise market? So as you all know, franchise market is actually booming in India. So according to the research, the India food service market is expected to register a CAGR of 10.51% over the forecast period. So the growth of the market are attributed to the increasing demand from young population and then the rising dis possible income on rapid urbanization. And then the India Coffee Cafe market is also expanding in India. Okay. And then why we target franchise daily coffee in urban cities such as the Mumbai and Delhi. So as you can see, the average of 35.39% of the Indian population living in the urban city. So with an increasing proportion of the working woman population, so the trend for the home cooked meal has gone down. So leading to the robust demand for out of food consumption. And then we believe that Indian food delivery market is in extensive growth due to the increased access to the high speed internet. And then all and small big restaurants are also collaborate with the Swiggy and Zomato to reach wider range of customers. Okay, so let's have a look uh, in the India food service market from the development. So for Starbucks in July 2022, so Starbucks is the first global chain to revamp its menu to masala chai to attract consumer with the Indianese and more affordable option. And then let's go for the McDonald also expand its business outlet in the Ekta Naga, Mujarat. Also it's a all outlet drive through in India. And then in the 2022, the Domino Pizza, they also launched a five, 1,500 store in India. So they also revamp their menu to cheese parata pizza, and the chicken kema parata pizza for more options for India. Okay, so according to the research, the, the India has been largely been a drinking nation and then the spending 6% of the volume consumption. Okay, so for the licensing package, I will pass to Marcus. Okay, sure. So uh, on the licensing part, we are we are giving out a licensing per city. Okay, so it's a 450 case. So we provide trainings, promotion ideas, special events and a fully set up and trainer help for openings. And we have marketing for five years and we include post system fees and design fees of the outlets. Means that all the outlet design, we will provide everything. So we have a managing fees for 5% of the revenues and all the city master franchise, they can sign to their, to, they can sign a franchise out in their city as well. So all the document and agreements will, uh, will be prepared by us. Lah. So uh, this is the signing package lah, for those master, uh, the, the franchise want to sign from the city master franchise. Okay, so we have a magic managing fees as well. So it's a 5% of the revenue as well. Okay, so. Okay, the Q&A session I just now. Any question, Moe? 
Absolutely. Um, Marcus, loads of them. Firstly, uh, many congratulations with uh, you know what you what you and the team are building. Am I am I audible? Mm. Right, you can Sorry? hear me. You can, can hear can, me. Can. can hear you clearly. Excellent. Ah, perfect. Uh, I think Marcus, one one of the very important uh, question over here is that uh, since you know you were also you were already built the you know a little base for for the brand to grow, right? Now mm. when you enter an international market, how closely do you intend to work with? the franchise partner here in terms of you know building that brand image working on the marketing part working on the supply chain so how, what involvement do you propose with the franchise partner okay on on this uh just now mohit already shared so i will in our team we will gather all information which is what which city we are going to attack with so we will discuss with all our partners which which is all the fantasy and we will we will look for the best way to do on all those marketing because in our team we also need to go through with uh, india marketing and uh, india market and we will go through with the best marketing in india which is to attack the market Okay, so this one is uh, which is we we will discuss with our franchisee as well. We are not going to do in ourselves. So is uh feel free to uh discuss uh, with all those franchisee which which is are interested in our brand. So I think this is very important because uh you all are in uh, your state or your city are very long time already. So I feel that is a very great discussion when we have. Before we start all those marketing and we start all those branding exposure on that, okay. I think uh, I completely agree. Uh, the local input has to come from the local franchise partner, um, and it's good that you know you will be working closely with them in terms of developing the right material. So I I I think I'm I'm completely uh, on page with you on that. Uh, now talking about uh, you know the supply chain part, the food element is very strong in daily coffee. That's correct. Yes. Right. Great. So right now, right now. Uh, sorry, one second. Mitha, can you please? Mitha, can you please mute? Mitha, can you please mute? Uh, from your end. Okay. Uh, yeah, Marcus. So what I'm trying to what I'm trying to ask here is that. Uh, just give me one. Give me one moment. Bye. Q and A. कुछ नहीं है. Bye. बंद कर लो. Uh, yeah, Marcus, so one uh, thing I was asking was about the food element part. So currently, because of that, having that heavy food element, uh, I'm, I'm sure you're actually attending to a bigger target customer, right? So do you see more families coming in in daily coffee or do you see it's more of a young crowd who want to try a different kind of combination with the coffee? What what's your experience with the with the target customers? Okay, so from our experience, actually the target market is uh is a working adults. So most of the working adults now they are forming a family already. So means that most most of them they will bring their family come to daily coffee as well because actually we are can consider as we are a Western restaurant plus coffee. So which is a very interesting concept. And just now, I think Mohit got asked on regarding on our supply chain and all those things because all, all our item from we supply, uh, we are already, how to say, is we, we can just already ship because all of the things are we already uh, done in the done in process already. So it means that uh, we no need to frozen, we no need to do anything. So all those so, uh, raw ingredient item will be stamped for at least one year. Like all those sources, everything. So will be will be stand for expired expired date will be one years because we got a machine like a bacteria cure machine to cure all those bacteria in our our raw ingredient lah. So it means that on all those sources that need to buy from us will be I think it's not a very big issue on that lah. I think that surely adds to confidence. Uh, 
but I, I'm I'm sure that you know once you will start working with the Indian Indian partner, um, okay. in terms of food range, there would be many many more options, uh, especially on the regional side. Uh, that that's where you will see a lot many colors, a lot many options coming in, uh, Marcus. Uh, we will mm. the franchise partner will definitely require support from your uh, your culinary uh, staff or you can sure. say the chef uh, working on this. Okay, that one, uh, I think I get what Mohit has already uh, have asked because, okay, before we enter to India market, our, our team, culinary team will go to market inspect first before we enter to the market. Because from my perspective is whether we enter in any countries, all the menu must be, must be suitable for the, for the countries. So for my, for my part, our team will go to India market and at least 30% of our menu will change it to an Indian suitable food menu. So basically, it's, for example, like McDonald's and like Starbucks, whole the, the whole world are different. So we will do like that as well. So we will make sure that all our foods and all our things is suitable for the place that we are targeting. I think that's, that's really impressive. And I think that does add some confidence because especially on the food side, Mm. India still prefers to have menu and the taste palette, which which you know is closer to to our taste palette. Yes, right? correct. So, mm. so it's good. It's good that the franchisee can expect uh, some expert support from your end, right? So so that's really impressive. And I believe uh, I think we've already discussed in the past that uh, as soon as we'll we'll have few interests, parallelly we'll start working on identifying the vendors, right? We can we'll we'll be connecting them with you uh, so that you can start validating them checking out their product quality, eventually shortlisting them so that they can work with the franchise partners in the future and any new product development can happen with them. So I think that's that's already in place. Uh, I, I think, Marcus, um, uh, we already have uh, the, the answers to our questions uh, and I'm sure post the webinar, we will be reaching out to all of the attendees as well, one-on-one uh, -on -one for their uh, queries. Uh, but uh, but as, as you would have experienced so far, most of the, the, the queries that come from the, the set of Indian investors is around these questions itself that what kind of support is the brand going to provide to the franchise partners initially till the time you know they are able to uh, stand up on their feet and eventually you know take the brand development ahead by themselves uh, any any closing remark that uh, marcus you would like to leave the audience with that you know when they think about daily coffee how can they perceive it as their business as their new business opportunity okay actually uh, daily coffee uh... Actually, it's a very new, new, new and special concept, which is that's how I have already shared because we mix a lot of different, different element into a, a coffee shop. So actually, we are trying to build, uh, trying to bring this special concept to the whole world. So which is why we are joining with uh, Flying Clover to do these things. So maybe that like just now Mohit already shared. So maybe on the next session, we're doing a one on one to one session. Maybe on that time, we were sharing about our Indian menu. So because now our culinary team is already been researched and developed develop on the new menu for India. So on that time, maybe I will share to all of you on the latest Indian menu on that. So maybe we will be all our uh, franchisee or all our partners will be no inquiries on that. So they will have a look and very clear picture on the things. So I think it's like that. Well, thank you, Marcus. Uh, you know, that that's really inspiring. Definitely, we look forward to that. And we would love to share this development with our uh, franchise prospects as well. Uh, Thanks, thanks for your time today. I won't uh, hold you guys for too long. I know it's a, it's a Friday evening, right? And you're already two and a half hours ahead. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Michelle. I see that you're still, still working from office. Please, uh, you know, go and join your family to start the weekend. And uh, we wish you both a, a great weekend ahead and look forward to connect with you again. Okay, thank you. Okay, sure. So see you soon on the one-on-one -on -one site meeting. Very so, okay. Thanks Absolutely. a lot thank for you the very invitation. Much. Thank you, Franchise India team. Thank you, Mitha. Thanks for organizing this. Thank you very much. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, the attendees, for joining. Thank you very much.